What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog video. I'm not too sure if this actually is gonna be like a vlog kind of style video, but I guess I'm talking to a camera, so I think that's actually a vlog. But for you guys that are not aware, besides being a photographer and a podcaster, a vlogger, I do have a regular nine to five, I guess, uh, and I work for a cell phone company. But uh, I talk to a lot of people uh, when when I work, right? Uh, a lot of people that walk in, they want a new phone, they want, I don't know, a tablet, they, they want presents for their kids, their family members and everything like that, right? But I do deal with a lot of different kind of people. And let me explain this real quick. What I mean when I say a lot of different people, I, I mean like different age, different cultures, but also there's a lot of customers that I learned like super cool and good things, like this situation that happened to me today. And let me explain to you what that situation is, okay? So, so that situation was this. I help uh, older gentlemen that I want to say was like around 72 to 75 years old. For you guys that have iPhones and you know when you're setting up a new iPhone, usually you have to know your Apple ID password, right? And he didn't know that. So he was stressing out. But when it came time to actually type in the new password, he was typing like one or two letters different from uh, the, the password that he was setting up because I know some of you guys are familiar with this process, but some of you are not. But when you reset a password, you have to put the new password and then it asks you to verify that password. So technically you have to type the same letter, same like character, same everything in order for you to move forward to the next step. But he was not able to do that. He was using like an exclamation point, but on the bottom, he forgot the exclamation point and everything. So literally he was just grabbing the phone and was just like throwing it on the table. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot do this. This is so stressful. And I was like, sir, uh, let, me, let me try to help you in any way I can, right? Let me just go ahead and make sure that you are typing in the right password. So can you please type the password again, but this time like slow down and make sure that everything is the right letter or whatever you're trying to type in. So he did and actually the password went through and then we were able to actually reset the password and transfer everything over. But that's not the crazy thing that happened though. After that, uh, of course, because the process, like I said, uh, it takes between 45 minutes to an hour. So we had a little bit of time in order for us to, to talk and, and we were not that busy. So I was just sitting next to him and we, we start talking about just life, I guess, and everything. So I guess this is the part where I, I really enjoy talking to my customers. And we talked about this, okay? So we talked about live experience. And yes, I know it sounds super crazy because like, Jesus, you're at work, uh, you are selling phones. Why would you talk about live experiences with a customer, right? But here's the thing, like those are the kind of conversations that I really enjoy personally because these guys, especially older people, right? They have a lot of stories. And, and I mean that in, in the most respectful way, right? they they have a lot of experience when it comes to live experience right so we start talking and everything and that's when he mentioned his age he was like you know what uh, I, I, I think he called me like kid you know what kid uh when i was your age uh, i used to be super patient with with everything in life uh if i was not able to like turn on my car uh, I will not freak out and, and I am a strong believer that things happen for a reason. And he actually mentioned a story about a time that he was late to work and he was not able to start up the car and he was getting super frustrated. He was getting mad. He was getting upset uh, to the point that his wife came out of the house, right? And asked him like, hey, are you okay? What's going on? and he was upset with her as well for nowhere right no reason at all uh and and of course that's not fair to to the wife right but anyway so he mentioned that and he was like 
uh, kid, I, I, I swear to you that I was super frustrated, I was super mad, and I was gonna be late at work, that I, it was just a bad day in general. I knew that that was gonna be a bad day uh, because of how the, the, like the way it started, right? And then he mentioned that after 10 minutes, he actually was able to turn on the car, and he hopped in and he started driving, right? And he said like after five minutes driving and he was like, I guess 10, I think he mentioned 10 minutes away from, from getting to, to his workplace, uh, an accident had just happened. Uh, it was a crash. And he told me, you know what kid? And, and he kept telling me, he kept saying kid. And that was, I think that's super funny. But he was like, and you know what kid? That was the moment that I realized that things happen for a reason. And that's when he also mentioned, and that's when I understood that I have to enjoy life. And that guys was like, for me was like, damn, because I, I'm going through stressful situations uh, at work, uh, with, with my career, uh, the podcast, everything, the office, and I think I have to step back and be like, you know what? This is something that can get fixed. This is something that it's not gonna be the end of the world if I, I'm not able to fix this. There's, there, there's other opportunities and there's something else that I can do in order for me to fix it, but I'm not gonna be able to fix it if I'm upset, if I'm like mad at myself, uh, I'm not gonna get nowhere. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm sure I'm not the only one going through stressful situations in life, but sometimes we forget that things happen for a reason and we forget that life is super short and that we have to enjoy it every single moment. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Without love.